Of course, the big story today is still James Comey's Senate testimony yesterday. It was on all the networks commercial free. I mean, oh, I mean, not entirely. We all saw what James Comey was wearing at the hearing. <laughs> now, Comey uh, was pretty rough on the president, but right after the testimony, Trump sent his longtime personal lawyer and devil who has a thing he wants you to sign, <laughs> Mark Kastowitz, uh, to respond. And Kastowitz started with a simple introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mark Kastowitz, uh, President Trump's personal lawyer. And I am the busiest man in the world. <laughs> I haven't taken a bathroom break in 27 years. I will now blink out my real message. <laughs> Rescue me. <laughs> Kasowitz explained why everything Comey said proves the president's right. Contrary to numerous false press accounts leading up to today's hearing, Mr. Comey has now finally confirmed publicly what he repeatedly told President Trump privately. Please, sir, I'd like to leave the room now. <laughs> but even though everything Comey said proved Trump wasn't guilty, he was also a liar? The president likewise never pressured Mr. Comey. The president also never told Mr. Comey, quote, I need loyalty. I expect loyalty, close quote. He never said it in form and he never said it in substance. He also never entered the dressing room. Wait, which Trump lawsuit am I in right now? <laughs> I've said too much. <laughs> Kasowitz focused on shifting the blame away from Trump and on to Comey. Today, Mr. Comey admitted that he leaked to friends of his purported memos of those privileged communications. Of course! We should have known Comey was the leaker. The source of all this info was a shadowy figure in a D.C. parking garage who went by the name Tallthroat. <laughs> then, Kasowitz ran off without taking questions, and one reporter witnessed an awkward scene as Kasowitz tried to escape with no press questions. He and his aide stood in elevator staring at us, forgot to push down button. Yeah. See ya. See ya, suckers. Wouldn't want to be a <laughs> bite me. Oh. But Kasowitz uh, made up for that little goof uh, with a bigger one later, because when he emailed his statement out to reporters, it read, I am Mark Kasowitz, President Trump's <laughs> personal lawyer. It's the ultimate legal loophole, okay? <laughs> Trump was never president. He was president the entire time. <laughs> that way, he can never be impooched. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Even though he's leading Trump's defense, Kasowitz uh, doesn't have a lot of experience with the congressional testimony or the Justice Department or the government, really. And apparently, <laughs> Trump cannot find other lawyers to join the team because some of America's top law firms don't want Donald Trump as a client. <laughs> That's crazy. Law firms are not known for being particularly picky about their clients. <laughs> In fact, here's just a partial list of people who had no trouble finding a lawyer. O.J. Simpson, Bill Cosby, <laughs> Jorn Vandersloot, Robert Blake, Bernie Madoff, Jeffrey Dahmer, Patty Hearst, Leopold and Loeb, Jorn Vandersloot the second time, the Nuremberg guys, Casey Anthony, Eric Lyle Menendez, Charles Manson, and Cuban Gooding Jr. as O.J. Simpson. No problem. So, why won't these lawyers take Trump's case? Well, one source said they're afraid, quote, the guy won't pay and he won't listen. <laughs> that is, that's pretty compelling. 
That's pretty compelling. I don't blame these lawyers. I wouldn't want to represent a guy who you know is going to tweet, the fake lawyers are working so hard to get me free, but I am guilty, hashtag never paying. <laughs> but never. I did it. I totally did it fake. But if Trump ever has difficulty finding legal representation in the future, of course, there's always one law firm you can find on your TV that he can turn to. Here at Galeno and Farns, we have a reputation for representing any client. Any client. Drug dealers. Arsonists. Guys who expose themselves on the subway. The guy who shot the gorilla at the zoo. The guy who exposed himself to that gorilla and then set it on fire. Up to now, anyone. But we have to draw the line somewhere. So if you're the president of a country and suspected of collusion and or obstruction, don't, don't call, call us. us. We are too busy to take your case. Here are the things we will and or possibly be too busy doing. Litigating. Depositioning. Court appearing. Scrapbooking. Dog sitting. Eating pickles. Hunting Slender Man. Elective surgery. Hiding in office. Laying pipe, the construction kind. Laying pipe, the toilet kind. Laying pipe, the bedroom kind. Making list of excuses. Being hunted by Slender Man. And Civil War reenacting. So as you can see, we are all booked up. Sorry. Galeno and Barnes on available attorneys. 1-800-5- Don't take out the number! Don't show the number! Take it!